Hi friends, welcome to another episode of Learn Loadrunner series. In this video, we are going to see about controller technology and how it works. So before we see about how to design a workload model, how to uh, execute a scenario in controller and how to analyze the results, I would like to explain how the controller component works so that you will be good in the fundamentals. So basically controller is the heart of load runner. So without controller, you cannot emulate the virtual users as per your workload model. So you define the number of virtual users to generate a load on a server by submitting the requests to the server. So basically you are uh, instructing the virtual users uh, to execute the script and then collect the metrics and then display it in the controller component. So it is like a master and the slaves are uh, virtual users. So controller is a, is a component. Uh, it will basically uh, commands the agents or uh, the virtual users uh, to emulate the load runner API functions. And then uh, it will collect the response time uh, and other performance metrics. So since uh, controller uh, or uh, users do not have any interface basically, so you can emulate uh, thousands of virtual users uh, very easily because it will not use uh, any interface to emulate the uh, real actions. If you are using the true client, then the concept is pretty uh, different, uh, which will be covered later. But as of now, assume that we are working on uh, non-GUI protocols. So mainly uh, web HTTP HTML so that uh, you will understand the concept uh, of how controller works. So basically, whenever you install a controller component in your laptop, uh, it will install load runner agent. So it is another piece of software which will be installed in your uh, laptop. So which is responsible to emulate the virtual users as per the number you have defined in your scenario. So basically, whenever you start a scenario in controller, what will happen is first it will contact the remote agent dispatcher. So remote agent dispatcher uh, is the inception uh, step whenever you are whenever you are about to uh, you are uh, triggering the uh, scenario to execute. So this will enable the controller to start applications on the load generator machines. But in the free package, free community edition, basically uh, your laptop will access the uh, access a load load runner agent because uh, you will not connect, connect anything uh, outside of your uh, uh, laptop. Basically everything is in your system, uh, controller, uh, view gen and analysis. But in case of enterprise, you will be using performance center or you might be using uh, uh, typical uh, uh, machines uh, where you will connect from your uh, controller software and also you can connect to uh, cloud uh, machines as well okay so whenever you create uh, start a scenario first it will uh, instruct the remote agent dispatcher which will enables the controller to start applications on the load generated machines so in the load generator uh, uh, machines, there will be an agent running. So it will instruct the agent to start emulating the scenario uh, or the script based on the number of uh, users you have defined in the scenario. So assume that you have uh, uh, two load generator machines and 50 virtual users. So in the scenario, you will define, okay, use the load generator A for uh, these many users and use load generator B for uh, these many users. So as per your number you have defined, it will start a uh, process. So that agent will start emulating your load runner API functions and then it will start collecting the performance metrics and then it will uh, give back to the controller. So basically I have uh, drawn only the single uh, uh, headed uh, arrows, but usually it will be a two way communication. So first the controller will contact the uh, load, gen load generator machine. So in the load generator machine, there will be a remote agent dispatcher, which will in turn contact the agents. 
So that agent process will start uh, emulating the virtual users. So virtual users will uh, uh, execute your uh, Ludener script and then it will uh, collect the metrics and then it will give it to the agent and then the agents will give it to the uh, low generators and low generators will give it to the controller. So it is a two way communication. So this is how controller works in a typical uh, environment. But if it is a true client, then uh, you need uh, more resources because true client protocol will be using a, a real browser instance. So assume that you are testing uh, five true client uh, virtual users. So whenever you start a scenario, the true client uh, agent, uh, sorry, the load generator will invoke five different browser instances and then it will uh, start doing the transactions. So in a load generator machine, there will be five instances of your browser will be running. But in case of uh, WebSTP HTML, since the users do not have any interface, you can run um, as many number of virtual users based on your machine configuration. So many people uh, will ask how many virtual users uh, we can run in a typical uh, load generator machine. So in the load runner help, there is one uh, section where you can see an example. So what they are claiming is you can execute around uh, 2000 to 2500 virtual users in a 8 core CPU. So this is for web -based HTTP HTML, not for other protocols. And uh, in 8 core CPU and 32 GB of RAM. So if we have this configuration uh, with a network of 1 gigabyte. And uh, of course, you need uh, uh, enough disk space. So if you satisfy these uh, four uh, uh, main configurations, then you can simulate, uh, emulate uh, around 2000 to 2500 virtual users on web-based HTTP HTML protocol. Again, it is depends on uh, your application uh, technology and uh, how weight your application is and the architecture is. So it totally it will vary. So there is no uh, thumb rule for uh, to calculate the number of virtual users in a particular machines, uh, particular, particular uh, load generator can execute. So you need to uh, execute with your own AUT, application order test, then you have to uh, calculate based on your initial runs. So on the whole, I'll just recap. So controller is a machine, uh, is a software where you will design your scenario. And uh, so whenever you start a controller uh, scenario, it will uh, contact the load generator machine. So in the load generator machine, there will be a, a component, a remote agent dispatcher. So which will enable, it will, it will uh, uh, triggers the agent and then agent will uh, start the uh, virtual users based on the number you have entered in the scenario. So these users will uh, start sending the API calls and then it will collect the metrics and then it will uh, give back to the controller so that you can see it in the runtime. So all the process are uh, two-way communication. So if there is any error, uh, definitely you can see it in the controller uh, dashboard. Assume that uh, low generator uh, is not available. So you can see uh, it will display a message uh, not able to connect to load generator, so on, so on, so that you can take a necessary uh, action. So this is how uh, controller works. So this is the very fundamental uh, without knowing um, how this stuff works, then uh, it is very uh, tough for you to learn the uh, subsequent uh, concepts. So I hope this video is uh, useful. So if you like, please share this and uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Q insights. So if you have a time, please go to my next tutorial. Otherwise, thanks for listening. Have a great day.